The machine proceeds to boot. And yes, I'm running a version of Windows XP. This Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Team Trons channel. Today, we're going to import virtual machine into VMware Workstation. VMware Workstation Player 16 is needed. You need a PC as a host and all required folders and files. So basically, I moved an old VM from years ago into a directory that I can access in my current VMware 16 player. So here, what's happening here is that I'm basically going to the where I stored the virtual machines and I've already moved the file. So I'm gonna go into the necessary folders to find the virtual, the, the VMware virtual machine configuration file. So you open that and then you'll see it listed, but it's gonna ask you a couple of questions. Like you gotta take ownership of the machine because it appears to not be in use. And you're going to have to um, answer a question whether you moved or copied it. And in this case, once you hit, you know, start the virtual machine, I would say I moved it. And then the machine proceeds to boot. And yes, I'm running a version of Windows XP. This was a desktop that I used years ago as when I was doing my virtual machines on VMware. Um, it boots up nicely. It's fast, it's quick. We're running all solid states now. So it's a lot quicker than I ever remember. So what happens is it's gonna, you know, I'm gonna put in my password, I'm gonna log in. I'm gonna have to resize the screen. And basically we're logged in as soon as everything loads, personal settings. Like I said, it, 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 it was instant like that. And it, it, it's faster than ever. So what we have is basically, um, I'm in the airplane, so I have an airplane picture on my desktop. That's what I used to do um, back in the day. Um, take pictures of airplanes and put them on different environments so that at a glance I know which environment I'm on. Now this is, uh, I got to resize the resolution to the current modern day standards of 1080p for uh, 1920 by 1080 and that and I maximize the window and it it fits nicely and therefore thus I have full access to this machine I click into it to find that the old software on which I had installed on this virtual machine actually runs. And I'm pretty impressed with that. At the time I was using Firefox, but um, yeah, let's look at some of these old applications to see if they actually, you know, load up. And they do, like super quick, super quick, more than I ever remember. Because this was at a time when I was running this off of ID, you know, low interface. So, so these applications work and I'm cool with that. So, you know, I want to say, uh, we're getting near the end. So be sure to take the time to like the video on your way in and out share the video with a friend subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and leave a comment and let us know what you think and that's all i have to say for today thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen have a great day